Oh, actually, years ago, you came on my, my uh, other podcast I had years ago, and you told us great stories, mm -hmm. fantastic stories like this when you were in L.A. Yeah. And I'd just like to relive one that you told me about. Sure. That you worked in a, a topless bar, mm. and um, Rob Schneider used to go there. Paulie Shaw. Oh, Paulie Shaw. Yeah, Paulie right. Shaw used to get kind of the same Same. Guy. But you know what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You had me fooled. I had to really think about that. Yeah, but. yeah. And you... You said that you weren't making enough money or something, or someone wanted to, to eat cream off your nipple. Oh, man, yeah. Dude. And then you were like, okay, we'll pay me an extra five or ten bucks. Yeah. What? Is there a part of your body that's out of bounds for yeah, freaks? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't touch my cock. <laughs> I've, I've come so close. Yeah. What if um, it's a sniff? It, it, <laughs> well, I've had that. I've had that. Someone um, just wants to sniff the dick. I've had um, guys because I was going to become the mannequin <laughs> for Harris Scarf around the world. Yeah, because they love my measurements. Yeah, and so I went in. This is years ago, and um, I went in for the mannequin measurements, and it was pretty much like a layup. They're like, "Yeah, you're going to get it." Yeah, yeah. and I uh, went into this dude's office, and he did the full measurements, and then he's like, "You got to take off your undies," and I'm like, "Sure," and then he's like on his knees measuring. Like my waist, but he was shaking, yeah, and like fully sweating, yeah. And he his nose was maybe an inch away from my pecker, not not even like closer. And yeah. I'm like thinking, fuck, this guy's not very professional. Like he's really uh -huh. shaking. <laughs> and then um, afterwards, I called my agent, and she's like, "How's it go?" I go, "Really good, really good." Um, yeah, so you know, I just got nude, and um, then I got out of there. She goes, "What?" You got nude. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> You're not meant to get nude. Yeah. yeah, that's not normal. Yeah. Did he tell you to get nude? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, I'll be calling him. Fuck. And I said, don't. I want to become the mannequin. She goes, no. He's not allowed to do that. <laughs> and I didn't become the mannequin. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Even though you got nude and you got fucking pecker sniffed and there's oh, no. Man. <laughs> Do you think maybe... Yeah, but it's liberating, man. It's it's like, you know, you yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we get, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's the, the Everest, man. Yeah. Do you think, man, maybe the uh, the CEO was his thing from the start? And maybe he was the measurer guy? Yeah. So, like, make sure... At, make sure Ash is the dude. Oh, oh he yeah, undercover yeah, bastard. Yeah, he, he undercover ah. <laughs> But he's like, I'll do this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll do this one. He did a bit of undercover sniffing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck, it was a man. conspiracy. You get yeah. sniffed all over the place, bro. Man, yeah. yeah. That is crazy. But yeah, tell us about, because you st it was a fad, right? People would go in and ask for these. Yeah, man, so I was this, just... The cream with the shot. Yeah, so I was just yeah. selling the, the vodka shots for um, five bucks. I got to keep a dollar. Uh -huh. Wasn't making enough money. And then someone said, oh, uh, how, uh, can, I, can I suck uh, whipped cream off your nipple? And I said... That's going to cost you 10 bucks. Yeah. And then as a joke. Yeah. And he's like, sure. And then, um, you know, someone goes, I'll have one of them. Yeah. I'll, I'll make it, make it too. Hey, 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 Mike, you want, you want, you want a what, nipple, nipple chaser? I'm like, that's a great name. Yeah. Nipple chasers are happening. Let's go. <laughs> and so then that's how it started. Yeah. And then I, I upped the nipple chaser. I think it was, depending on the guy, it was either 10 bucks or 20 bucks. Like if they were absolutely thirsty as it was 20 bucks yeah, yeah but yeah. there was one guy who drove three or four hours yeah to just do a nipple chaser he didn't want the alcohol <laughs> he wasn't drinking yeah he goes i've, I've driven a long way so was it a chaser it was just a straight up nipple straight up Fuck. straight up cream on the nipple <laughs> and it was scaring me because i've never had anyone not yeah. want the alcohol first yeah and so i said oh we're, we're out of cream tonight i'm so sorry and he goes that's okay um so he went and bought cream Oh, <laughs> from the supermarket fuck. he comes back with the cream and I'm like fuck I'm going to have to do it so I just did 20 bucks <laughs> oh man that's great <laughs> you're a giant whore basically that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to pay rent man <laughs> yeah fair yeah. enough yeah. why not dude if you could do it you know and, fucking and what, what does Polly Shore have to do with it he would just come in or what Polly Shore um, it's a long story but basically I was um at the gym and then he came into the gym one time and he said are you busy i said no he said come outside i'm filming a documentary on my life and my best friend hasn't turned up yeah. will you play my best friend i said yeah. fucking earth bro so we start talking and um he's like just talk to me like uh you're my best friend i'm like cool 
So, oh, so he's like, so funny, man. He goes, you're in the gym. Paulie Shaw walks in and goes, can you be my best friend in yeah. the documentary? That is I don't so know what's good. more embarrassing, though. There's having some freak, uh, you know, lick cream off your nipple or being Paulie Shaw's best friend. <laughs> well, they're kind of the same because, um, you know, we're, doing, we're filming the doctor and he's like, so what are you doing tonight? And I'm like, well, mate, I've got to work at the gay bar. And he's like, what? I go, I work at a gay bar. He goes, do you? I'm like, can't. Like, you're meant to be my best friend. You, you should know that. <laughs> yeah. And so then he's like, we're coming down to film at the gay bar tonight. Yeah. And so Paulie Shaw rocks up. The guy's on the microphone going, you know, sirens, bing, 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 Paulie Shaw in the house. Yeah. And it's like, I'm like, well, he's my best friend. He's here to film me. Um, you guys should be like respecting me more because that, that was just treating me like shit because I was a vodka shop boy. Yeah. yeah. And then Paulie bought um, a round of nipple sucks for like 20 dudes <laughs> and was we were filming it all and I was like I've, I'm done Paul I can't do any more and he goes please please buddy please buddy come on buddy one more we gotta get it on film I'm like you've been filming for like two hours yeah and I did like three or four more I made serious bank that yeah, night yeah. and then um, the next morning I went to the comedy store he goes alright we're filming tomorrow you're gonna help me clean out the comedy store get rid of all of my mum's relics decide what to keep and, and what to throw out uh, you meet Kevin Hart Remember, you're my best friend. And I go, yeah, of course. So then like we're filming. And it's like, Kevin, this is Ash. And Kevin wasn't as big back then. Like He's big. Yeah. 